Welcome to episode 10 of Small Craft Tasmania. Seven knots, we're almost planing now. In this episode, we're gonna learn a thing or two about the yawl rig, and in particular, the mizzen, the most valuable crew member. Maybe the second most valuable. We're sailing over to Barnes Bay to meet some friends of ours who are borrowing Little Wing for a month while they're visiting from New Zealand. We're in the middle of the Don Tricasto Channel, just about to enter Barnes Bay. And it's blowing about 15 knots. We're expecting around about gusts up to 25 knots today. And these friends of ours have got an enormous amount of sailing experience. They're gonna show us how to sail a yawl. We're chopping across the channel at around about five and a half to six and a half knots. And of course, we bought Joe's kayak. Because we never leave home without it. Wind's supposed to pick up, it's gonna be a fun day. Hope you stick around and watch this one. Stable. Even when those big gusts come in, you don't. Yeah. Woohoo! Seven knots. We're almost planing now. Julie, Dave, Ben, and Mr. John Tucker behind me sailing the Wellsford Navigator Solid Air. And we're at about 15 knots, maybe gusting up to 17, maybe 20, some of them. Ben's gonna try and give us a rundown on the yaw rig. And we're gonna try and get the Navigator to self-steer. She is self-steering. Right, um, I've got the old man on the mizzen. He's doing all the steering. So, um, you're going to love a yawl, perfect stingy cruising rig. If you want to bear away, you can just stick it to the go. I And the boat bears away, and if you want to come up into the wind, you just try and get in. So you can pretty well steer yeah, just with the mizzen. Yep, she's coming up into the wind. I'm curious as to whether we can tack with the mizzen. Oh yeah, give it a go. Okay, let's back a bit. Yeah, there we go. There we are, we're away. Yep. There you go. Easy of us to bring around. Yep. Easy of us to bring around. There you go. What's that? Oh, that's pretty impressive. That's alright there. What's the other trick you can do with a mizzen? Um, heaving two is a pretty handy trick. Um, so, pretty straightforward. I just yell at the old man to crank the mizzen in. I ease everything else out. Crank the mizzen in. And I suppose we can roll the head still away. Yeah, there we go. Yeah. Good so job, she Julie. Sit, she should just sit here nicely while we have a cup of tea. Yeah. There you go. So you forgot the tea. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you forgot the tea. You could probably set the head still and heave to traditionally as well uh, with the back head still. be interesting to try that. Um, so if we let the head still out, there you go. Okay, now we can. 
Yeah, she'll probably just sit here, just the head till back. Less work, and also you you got your nose into the waves. This way you're sort of rolling with them, aren't you? Yeah, yeah. You're probably not going down. But you, quickly. yeah, you can actually yeah. make way this yeah, way. You're can't four you? You're four reaching. Yeah, and the mains out of one side for reaching. Yeah. So. Yeah. yeah. I do like a mizzen. We love mizzens. Yeah. Most valuable crew member, aren't they? Aside from me. <laughs> <laughs> From New Caledonia, how many miles is that? I wonder if we can get a thousand to go miles. Down <laughs> but you can certainly go on reach. Yeah. So we we still got the gym backed up. We got the main. Not doing anything. Just sailing on the mizzen, really. Yeah. Yeah. So the head's and it's keeping it And she's really comfy and dry and solid feeling. Yeah. I like that. Comfy. That little head still helps. Yeah. Well, we'll go back and get a kid all the way back out again. Yeah. You don't need to watch out for when the speed you go back with. Yeah, well that's why we need to drive, wouldn't we? Yeah, yeah. 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 On a boat like this? Yeah. 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 So what words of wisdom do you have for Mr. Wellsford? Ah, she's a, back on the boat. She's, a, she's a great load carrier and very comfortable. Amazingly yeah. stuff. Yeah. Yeah, no. They're very comfortable. We've got uh, we've got five people on board, probably 350 odd kilos. And she's quite comfortable. What sort of boat is it, Lockie? Um, it's an Optimus. An Opti? Yeah. What have you called your, your Optimus? Privateer. And what does that mean? Where did that name come from? Um, it was my dad's first boat. Yeah. And Jack's first boat. It's from um, Thingy Mabobby, you know, yeah. We, Snake Island? Yeah, Snake Island. Yeah, the kids yeah. of Snake Island. Yeah. Yeah, yeah from... Yeah. And, and who wrote the um, those Snake Island kids? That book, who wrote that book? My granddad. Who's your granddad? John Tucker. Is he here? Yes, he is. Point to him. <laughs> That's a pretty cool boat. Here we are back at the Trial Bay ramp. What a fantastic day. I hope you enjoyed the episode and I hope you learned something because we certainly did. See you next time. Thanks for watching Smallcraft Tasmania. Stay salty. <laughs> Look out. <laughs> <laughs>